My name is Kerry McVie and I am a Community Liaison Officer for EGF Renewables. At the moment I'm working on NNG Offshore Wind Development. NNG stands for Nerth Nagui, which is Gaelic for Strength of the Wind, and it's a large development going up in the Firth of Forth, which will be made up of 54 wind turbines and an area covering 105 kilometres squared. And you'll be able to see NNG once it goes up from many parts of the east coast of Scotland, and it's about 15.5 kilometres off the coast of Fife. For those of you who live in Dundee and Angus, you might notice over the next few months and certainly a couple of years that your port is going to get a lot busier because the port of Dundee is where many of the turbine towers and the blades will be arriving before they're installed and checked and um, shipped out to sea. So the towers are going to be 90 metres in height and there will be 54 of those arriving. An example of the work that goes on before any of the turbines go up at sea is happening at the minute in the Firth of Forth. Now during the First and Second World War, a lot of unexploded ammunitions were dumped in the Firth of Forth and they're quite close to the boundaries of the wind farm development. So a specialist needs to go in with an ROV, which is a remotely operated vehicle, and locate some of those um, unexploded ordinances and safely explode them and make sure that the seabed is safe for these turbines to go up. And not only do they check for unexploded ordinances, they also have to make sure that boulders are moved out of the way as well. And this requires specialist um, vessels, boats, to go out and locate them, the boulders and move them to somewhere that isn't going to interfere with the development. The renewable energy sector requires a huge range of people with a huge range of skills, backgrounds, experiences, qualifications to come on board and work. This can range from ecologists, people who look after the environment, engineers, business developers, people who look after the finances, people who project manage, communications professionals, the list is absolutely endless, technicians, and people can come in at different stages of the project. So although the turbines haven't started going up at sea, work on this project has been ongoing for years and years. My job title at NNG is Community Liaison Officer. I sit within the communications and HR team and I work with some of the communities along the east coast of Scotland and make sure that they're kept up to date on what's happening with the project. I help look after our sponsorship fund. If anyone's accessing the fund, then I'll liaise with them and keep in touch with them about how that's going. Um, I'll maybe do little bits of media work as well. And uh, generally just be a point of contact for a lot of people um, along the east coast of Scotland. My journey into the renewable energy sector is a little bit unique in that I trained to be a PE teacher when I was at uni didn't go on to do my PE teaching, I did a master's degree um, and whilst I was doing that got very competitive at cycling and competed at Glasgow 2014. Um, I'm currently the Scottish champion, Scottish mountain bike champion in, in cycling and the wonderful thing about working within this industry for me is the flexibility that it gives you. Lots of people work full time for EDF Renewables, but there's lots of people too that do contract work, which is what I do. So I work, I can work anywhere between two to four days a week. And for me, it's very important that I have that job alongside my cycling as well. Um, and it's great for me to be able to work and develop my skills as I work at the same time. My first introduction into the renewable energy sector was working on an onshore wind development on the Isle of Lewis. And that job came about because of the media work that I had done within um, the Gaelic world. I grew up speaking Gaelic and in community liaison, you need to be able to engage with people and speak with people and explain well and clearly the type of work that's going on with, with wind farm developments. And it fitted quite well with some of the, the work that I'd done previously. And when I was first told about the job, I thought, I'm not sure, I don't know anything about wind turbines. I don't know anything about engineering, but as it turned out, it's a job role that you can learn very quickly about 
and it's so fast moving and ever evolving that it's exciting and it's great to see new developments and new types of renewable energy crop up and it's an industry that's just going to get busier and busier and better and better and who knows where we'll be deriving our renewable energy from in the next 5 to 10 to 15 years and you could be part of that. Right now we hear a lot about the global climate emergency in the media and renewable energy is one of the best tools in tackling this. It's an industry that is continuing to grow year on year with more wind farms appearing and more sources of renewable energy um, being invented, being thought up, uh, different types of job roles. And if you enter this industry, it's one that you can grow and flourish within um, and you can really make your mark on helping to fight the global climate emergency that we're all facing just now. In 2017, nearly 18,000 people were employed within the renewable energy sector and that number has continued to grow since then and will continue to grow. Not only are wind farms a form of renewable energy, we have hydrogen, we have kite, we have tidal, we have solar, wave power and who knows what people like yourselves might think up as a solution to fighting the, the global climate emergency. And that makes it a really exciting industry. And when you enter it, your job role is never set. There's always opportunities to pursue other strands of work. So if you're an engineer, you might want to move into communications, for instance. And I, in communications, may one day want to move into something like procurement or finance or, or, or another strand of renewable energies. But those opportunities are there and yeah, they'll continue to be there as we continue to find solutions to uh, the global climate emergency. The Scottish Energy Strategy was published in 2017 and it set out a target that by 2030, the equivalent of 50% of the energy for Scotland's heat, transport and electricity consumption would be supplied by renewable energies. Now this is a lofty target but it's definitely one that we can achieve and it also makes Scotland a fantastic place to work within the renewable energy sector as things ramp up and we aim to tick off that target. There are lots of different reasons why I would recommend uh, the renewable energy sector. Firstly, it's the variety of jobs that are available within the sector. Um, the pay is good. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to make a difference if you care about the planet and if you want to contribute to um, finding sources of renewable energy. Um, your colleagues are great. I really like being part of a team. I also love getting out and about in the community and seeing people. Um, no two days are the same for me and I'm able to combine my job as well with my cycling and with the full support of the team as well, which is fantastic. So you can make it flexible to yourself. There's always opportunities to, to learn and to grow and you're never stuck in one place. And, and people like variety and people like opportunities to, to develop their skills. And there's certainly plenty of that within the renewable energy sector. As I've already explained, there is no clear cut one route into the renewable, renewable energy sector. And uh, I think if you're going to give yourself the best opportunity and you're perhaps thinking about something to do with engineering or otherwise, uh, think about when it comes to second year and choosing your subjects to perhaps try and incorporate some of the STEM subjects into those choices. So that's your science, technology, engineering or mathematics. But there's no one route into the industry and there's so many different jobs that you could choose any subject and still have an opportunity to get involved in this incredible industry.